Hello and welcome to James Hennon on YouTube. Today we're going to be looking at the Ten of Pentacles, which is the tenth card in the Pentacle suit. And of course, um, what do Ten stand for? Well, they stand for completion, end of cycle, and um, the establishment, uh, full establishment or full real realization of that suit. So what do pentacles stand for? Well, pentacles generally stand for all things uh, material or physical, and they can stand for finances and health. So with the 10th card, what we can see here is there is a, there is a group of uh, varying generations of people, perhaps a family, who are congregating outside in a courtyard underneath a nice lavish archway, and there's a tower in the background. They're very elegantly dressed and everything looks richly abundant. We can see the, the bottom left hand corner, there are some what looks like some grapes growing. Everything has grown beautifully and it shows that everything has matured to a wonderful state. And I believe that that's what the figure there stands for. The man there shows that everything has matured wonderfully. Everything is now more secure and stable, perhaps more secure and stable than it has been for a while and a lot has been accomplished and a lot has matured so it's come of age but it is a 10 which means it's at the end of a cycle so there might be some work to finish off um, to get to this stage or you might have already reached this stage but either way it is a very auspicious card to get in any spread and generally means that everything is likely to be um, if it isn't already very stable and very secure in uh, practical and financial matters. It can stand for uh, real success and achievement within your career. And as I said, really establishing a, a real sense of security and enjoying the fruits of your labor um, and having a happy life, being able to happily enjoy what you've, what you've created and what you've um, uh, brought into your life, especially in practical and, and financial matters. It also predicts that um, on property wise, you could also have a nice property and nice belongings and possessions, again, that you've worked hard to um, achieve. It also stands for accomplishment and success within most factors. So anything that you may be asking about, if it's unrelated, even if it's a relationship question, it can symbolize that there is likely to be accomplishment and success, a real sense of attainment. Um, the attainment from the nine has really spread into the ten and really given you something that's lasting. Uh, sometimes, although it's very difficult to predict this, it can predict large sums of money. Sometimes it can predict a will if someone has passed over or money uh, discussions with large sums of money. But again, it would the question would have to be based around that um, for you to actually sort of be able to predict that because that would be... Uh, a difficult subject to try and predict openly, you know, to, to say that you think it could be that. But yes, it, it can sometimes denote um, in, inheritance um, and, as I say, large sums of money, especially if the ace is anywhere near it as well. But generally a positive card, completion, end of a cycle and enjoying what has been earned and establishing lasting success. So that's the Ten of Pentacles. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please remember to like and to subscribe to James Hennon on YouTube. And don't forget to check me out on Facebook, James Hennon Tarot, and on Instagram, also James Hennon Tarot. Until the next time, thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.